Hello, dear Gemini. Welcome to your timeless reading, Messages from Spirit. So whenever you happen to come across it, that's when you're meant to see this. And um, I channeled some messages that I wanted to um, see what I could tell you guys. I, this one's really funny. I don't know. And I hope it makes sense to someone. It got me totally confused. But this is what I got. The last party. Semiconductors. <laughs> and then challenge the opposites. The cat will stay off the roof. Penelope Peters Pickles and Sensation is the Creation. Okay, please let me know if any of those make sense to anybody. <laughs> Sounds very, very, they made me laugh though, that's for sure. Okay, so let's start with what's coming in for you guys. What is coming in for you guys? Pig spirit, use your mind wisely. Ooh. Like this pig feels almost like the pig has like the third eye spotted here. And wings. So, you know, what I think is that same when pigs fly. But use your mind wisely. I'm getting this. Okay, let's see what else we have. And then we have peacock spirit. Let it shine. Ah. Use your mind wisely because you're going to let it shine. You're going to be known for being really smart here and having some kind of great ideas. And then Wombat Spirit, be at home. Be at home in your mind is what I'm getting here. Be at home in your mind because that's where you're going to shine. Okay, so let's see what's on the bottom here. We have Flamingo Spirit, be here now. Okay, be in the now. Okay, let's clarify here. So you're going to shine. You're going to be in the spotlight, it looks like. You're getting attention here. And you're also going to feel very at home, which you didn't probably think you're going to feel at home in the spotlight, but you are. Let's see. Um, So use your mind wisely. Let's see. Why do we have that? And we have the star. See that? You are. You're getting. You're going to be noticed for something. You're getting a lot of attention. Aquarius energy. But you're going to be... um. In the spotlight here you're getting attention you might be on stage you might become famous but make sure you use your mind very wisely here think of think things through don't jump into anything because this this is gonna um be like more than you ever expected so don't just say okay let's just give it a shot no really think it through okay so now why do we have the peacock spirit here for you let it shine and we have three of swords Hmm. Look at that. How we have like the the Facebook thing there and the emoji. So maybe you're online. But we have the three of swords here. Something to do with your heart. The heart chakra. There's an opening here. It's painful. But you also I you know it's weird because this is a transformation too, because this this body is also on a, a butterfly. So butterfly is a transformation. There's change coming here. And it has something to do with loving loving yourself, doing do what you need to do. I mean, this is a butterfly that's been pinned because it got the pins in it, just like um, like she's getting crucified here. But also, you know, she's very different. Um, the energy I'm getting here is that you you are gonna shine, and you know what? You might get a take a couple of hits too because that's what happens when you're in the spotlight. You know, so. Be prepared for that, but you are going to be at home, though, no matter what anybody else says. Now, um, so let's see, why do we have the Wombat Spirit here? Five of Pentacles. You're juggling a lot here. Trying to keep everything going at once, and it's going to be in a whole different atmosphere. You're out of your regular atmosphere, but you're going to be at home here anyway. Even though you have to juggle a lot, you might be kind of content with having all these projects. There's there's a lot going on here. Five of Pentacles usually lack. I see this as someone juggling something inside this a little like enclosure, but they're not. They're out there, but they're not. They're hidden, but they're not. If that makes sense, and going to new heights. But you're gonna feel at home doing this. Wow. Okay, so now we have the Five of Swords. Fives are changes too. Okay, so there's kind of, um, you might be getting, 
people might be saying things that aren't so nice, but it's okay. It's going to work out in your favor. You're, you know, it's going to all work out for you. Oof, because there's this energy here feels like um some kind of, um some kind of talk that's gonna unravel. I feel like whatever this, this these people or this person saying is gonna be is gonna unravel on them. It's gonna all come out. Especially we're going into Mercury retrograde at uh, this time that I'm doing this pretty soon. That's gonna be coming in. So truth comes out during Mercury retrograde. I think that starts September 9th. So we're at the pre-energy now, getting into that. Okay, so let's see. What aren't you seeing? Seek the truth. Okay, this is the same card. Same place, I think, for Aquarius. Yeah, so there's going to be something that's um, going to be revealed, but you're not seeing it at this time. The truth is going to come out. That's why I said about this. This truth is going to come out. Seek the truth. It will come out. There's something that you're going to uncover here. Okay, and then we have confront. So you might have to confront whoever this is that's trying to start trouble with you. Set them straight. And then the healing will begin. Because you're going to inquire about what's going on. Yet someone's saying something, something's happening. You're like, what is this? And then once you seek the truth, you'll confront them and you'll heal. And then you'll take the lead. Something's going to bring you into even a lighter higher vibration here okay let's clarify these cards seek the truth why do we have to seek the truth here for Gemini what's that all about the Hierophant okay this is tapping into your spirituality ta tapping into a commitment to, um, this is also the Hierophant is usually more of a conform type of energy it also could be an institution you might have to also seek the truth if this is something to do if you work for a corporation or institution uh, of some sort you might have to um, look for your answers there okay what about the confront and that's all for the Hierophant committed so this would be a commitment but it's also a very strong spiritual connection and then we have we have the muse of emotions so this is the king of cups so this might this person might be a, a scorpio cancer pisces there's a lot of emotions behind this that this person is trying to sabotage you or say something wrong or something maybe you hurt their emotions or something but they there's a, a this the, the muse of emotions is very strong emotions here okay and the healing begins Let's see what we get for that. The Queen of Voices. So this is, you're coming into your power here. This is the Queen of Swords. So Gemini, Libra, um, Aquarius. So I feel like this is, your healing begins and you're also able to speak out, speak the truth. And when you confront this person and speak your truth, the healing will begin because you're going to put an end to this. And this is going to, um, give you major growth here also I'm feeling very you have a very strong connection with spirit Queen of Voices okay Oop. and we have here um, Queen of Inspiration so this is a Queen of Wands so take the lead because whatever you're doing here you're very passionate about it. Queen of Wands is Aries Leo Sagittarius so you're very passionate about this um, taking this lead and doing you're able to do it if you if you feel like you can't take the lead you can because your passion is going to show you the way when you do something you love it's it's always going to pay off it's it's going to um it's going to work for you look at the cheetah here i'm looking at this cheetah watching this woman with the pyramids here the crystals this person is very content very relaxed the sun behind it um could be leo with the sun behind there too i mean you got a cat here you got the sun but um a very strong spiritual connection and very content feeling like almost feel like maybe someone meditates a lot and this really helps too okay so now let's see what do you need to know 
I'm going to take three of each deck now to see what do you need to know. These things get stuck though, these cards. Okay. Grasshopper Spirit. Take a leap of faith. Yes. Take the lead. Take a leap of faith. Yeah, trust yourself. You're, you can hop into anything here with this grasshopper. Right? Grasshopper. <laughs> and so this feels like, look at this the person, this grass person. Yeah. Oh boy. This grasshopper even has a crown. Wow. So just know that you're capable of doing whatever you need to do here. You can you can trust this. I mean, I'll also say your faith is here with the Hierophant, too. And then we have Ant Spirit. Time to collaborate. Okay, so working well with others, putting your pieces together. The puzzle here is going to all fit. Okay, and then we have Dragonfly Spirit. True transcends illusion. Truth transcends illusion. Now, the dragon's flies are supposed to be able to go from this dimension into the spirit dimension. And this, they're also transformation. So you're transforming something here by working with others and take, but you need to be leader. You're taking the leap of faith and you, you might be offered a position where you're going to be, um, in charge of, of other people and feeling a little uncomfortable about it, but you're going to be able to do it. That's where it says, take the leap of faith. You can do this. Time to collaborate, work with others, and the truth tr will trans sense of the illusion of what someone was trying to um, say or about you here and we had dolphin spirit this and that are true <laughs> I like that so this is happiness too dolphins are always happy they're very smart mammals and we also have the lotus flower here there's a, there's a, a strong spiritual connection here you might have a spiritual connection to animals but you're also getting messages from the animals you might also if you see a dolphin or it comes across in your dreams that's a i think the dolphin spirit is actually coming to you at night and speaking to you so um i've been saying with these readings to take a journal next to your your bed so when you have your dreams write them down because you might be dreaming about the dolphin and that will be saying hey this and that are true and i think be also be playful dolphins are pl very playful they're very smart very intelligent they're very playful too. What about the grasshopper spirit? Why is that here? We have the emperor. Ooh, stepping into your power. Look at that. This emperor has a crown too. You're a leader. You're a natural born leader. This is what this is saying. So what you um what do you need to know is that you're going to be put in a position of leadership. Take the lead. Take the leap of faith. The emperor, Aries energy, but it's really you okay now time to collaborate with the ant spirit let's see what that's all about six of cups bringing something back from the past you might be doing something you used to as a child or something that you like doing in the past it might be a pastime for you this also could be a connection that you're collaborating with someone from the past someone you worked with before Someone that from your past is coming back in for you to help you to work together, to collaborate on something, to produce something new. Okay. Memories with the Six of Cups. What about the Dragonfly Spirit? The Magician. Whoa. Okay. Again, manifesting, transformation, major changes, infinity symbol here. Um, the Magician is Aries, Aquarius energy. And we have the Seven of Wands. I love this card. To me, all the pieces are being put together. They're coming in when they're supposed to come in. The, the, um, whatever you need to know will come in when you're supposed to know it, and it's all going to fit together. That's why I, get, I love this card. It's just like everything just fits in place. And there you are with your wand, being the Magician, calling these pieces in. Call whatever needs to come together. You are orchestrating this. You that's why you're the leader. Have the faith that you can do this. Okay, now what else do we have here? Base chakra. Okay, this is your root chakra. This is materialism. This is grounding. It's the physical. It's your identity. It's your stability. 
So you're going to feel more more secure, more stable when everything starts falling into place. That's what's coming in for you. And also, I would say that your material growth will grow too with this. And then we have blossoms. See, you're blossoming. Your energy is, your vibration is growing. You're at a higher vibration here. And you're going to be attracting the right people to you because of this. And we have find the balance. Find the balance because you're going to be pulled a lot towards this energy. So you need to have fun. Go back to that dolphin spirit to have fun. A little bit of this, a little bit of that. Simply love. Love is all you need. This is like the six of cups again. It's like there's going to be a really strong connection. It might be something from the past that comes in here, but it's the love. Okay, now let's clarify the base chakra. The chariot. Yes, things are going to move fast here. Cancer energy. Um, this is like, look at all these horses. The horses are also representative of the chariot. And this person has like all these um, attachments to these horses. So it almost feels like there's a lot of things going and going to be taken off for you. Everything, get ready because things are going to take off really quick. And I would think <laughs> that they might go in all different directions. <coughs> and you're working out your solar plexus here. I would say too that this is self-confidence. Knowing that you can do it. She looks very confident. So it feels like there's light coming out of you. You're, you're able to project what you need to be done and things are going to take off okay now what about the blossom why do we have the blossom here okay we have the sun so this is it this is leo energy this is the sun this is just you shining bright here and it was it came out in reverse well i don't I'm not really reading reverse on this, but on this card, but I'm, I'm going to say that it might take you a, a spin or something because it feels like you're forming this sun. So it might be this way because you're taking it from a small um, energy and you're working this energy and you're um, going to manipulate, not manipulate it, grow it. It's, you're going to put the attention to it, the energy to it of the, that you need to do here and it's going to get bigger and bigger and bigger. And this is your happiness. You're going to be blossoming your happiness. Now, find balance. Very very important here. You have to find balance because you're going to be very focused on this work because it's going to be so much going on. You need to have some fun. We have nine of emotions. Okay, so this is your nine cups. This is going to make you happy here. Your wish fulfilled here. Very nice. And we have the ace of voices. This is speaking your truth. This is the Ace of Swords. A lot of um, knowledge coming in for you. A lot of wisdom. Soaring to new heights, I would say. And I would say that you also, your, you know, your crown chakra is enlightened here too. Wow. There's, you're going to be receiving a lot of messages too. A lot of messages are coming in from spirit. So be open to it. And to, I really been saying with that I think with these readings that are coming in is make sure you have a notepad next to your bed so whatever kind of communication whatever you receive in the middle of the night which is the easiest time for spirit to talk to you if you're having a dream if you think of something if you can don't fall back to sleep just write it down then go back to sleep because there's messages coming in for you and this is new beginnings and it's new new beginnings also to express yourself you ha you have a very expressive voice or Somehow you might be speaking in front of people and you're going to do quite well with this because you're very intelligent and people want to hear what you have to say. All right. So now let's see what messages we also get from Spirit. These are messages that I have channeled from Spirit and let's see what they want to tell you. We have pay attention to all the signs the universe is sending you at this time. Acknowledging them will only benefit you and keep them coming in for you. That's it. Pay attention, right? That's what I just said here. Get, you know, listen to this because the more you pay attention, the more you're going to receive messages, you'll get more and be grateful for them. You know, but when spirit sees that you're paying attention and you're acknowledging them, they'll send you more. And then we have here, your life is about to change significantly. Wow. That's what it looks like. You're going, stepping right into your leadership role, into your power here. 
the current time is not right for attempting this project you will be well advised to wait a little bit longer I don't know what that's for or who this is for but there's someone that's trying to do a project on the side it's like a side thing when they have them when they're pulled in another direction don't do that in addition to this whatever this is coming in that's for a leadership role that you take charge of you're not gonna have time for that this project could be done um, at another time when you get this all in place okay now we have here you're about to hear from someone that you've been out of touch with for a very long time they have something important to say to you this might be this collaboration because as soon as I did that I, I got pulled right over to this energy here it was like boom and so this person coming in that may be time to collaborate is might be what this is all about here all right guys so I hope you liked your messages from spirit reading please let me know if you do uh, it is a general reading so just take the parts that resonate because it's not a personal reading but you know this there's gonna be something I think for everyone here that something can resonate and I, I think a lot of you are supposed to be in a leadership role even if it feels uncomfortable at first after a while you'll get used to it it's like if it's meant to be you know things that are meant to be come to you and you know so I th I really feel that crown is standing out for me that someone is really meant to have the crown to achieve success here all right so um i love you guys so much i appreciate all you like share subscribe and comments and i hope to see you all again real soon thank you